My name is Jim Steele. I am President and Chief Customer Officer of InsideSales.com. So Chief Customer Officer is, I'm responsible for the revenue of the company. I'm responsible for all the customer uh, success. And it was a title that actually Mark Benioff came up with at Salesforce for me about seven years ago. And at the time, no one in the industry was, was named Chief Customer Officer. So I, I feel proud that I was the first Chief Customer Officer in the industry. So Inside Sales is a, a sales acceleration platform leveraging data science, predictive analytics, and machine learning to predict buyer behavior and then prescribe sales activities to actually help customers grow revenue. The, the market space that we're going after is, everyone knows marketing automation. Companies like Marketo and HubSpot, uh, Exact Target that Salesforce bought, uh, Eloqua that Oracle bought, it's a very hot space where they're generating marketing leads. And everyone knows the CRM space, Salesforce Automation, you know, Salesforce, Oracle, Microsoft, SAP. But in between, there's this space that's being defined as the sales acceleration space. And what happens is marketing spends all this money on generating leads, but then those leads don't make it down to the salespeople. So it creates this age old conflict between marketing and sales. The marketing guys are pointing at the sales guys saying, what are you doing with all these leads? You're not selling. Sales guys are pointing at the marketing guys saying, what are you guys doing? Where are the leads? And what we do is, is provide visibility to those leads and we score the leads, we drive the behavior of the salespeople to go after the leads that have the highest propensity to actually contact those leads and the highest propensity to close that business. And then farther down the funnel, we bought a company called C9 a year ago. And C9 is a high definition forecasting uh, business that helps score the opportunity so your salespeople are focused on driving business where the opportunity to drive the, the highest results. So big data is one of the, the key industry trends right now that everybody talks about, but you think about it, over the last 20 plus years, these CRM systems have been spewing mountains of data. The problem is companies can't process all this data, they can't analyze it all, and more importantly, they, they don't actually take action on all the analysis. So what we do is we analyze the data in real time and we help companies make decisions that will help them generate revenue. So predictive analytics, the reason that we are getting so much excitement around our model is our company actually started 12 years ago. And it wasn't until about uh, four years ago where we had this critical mass of data. We've now got 100 billion sales interactions in our database and 110 million buyer profiles. And that's when the industry started to take notice and the, the investments started to come in. So Kleiner Perkins and Hummer Wimblatt and many other investors, including Salesforce and Microsoft, by the way, the first time that those two companies ever came together and did due diligence on an investment and actually co-invested in a $60 million. Salesforce is actually our largest investor, but the reason is, is because of the data. They see uh, the data from their CRM systems uh, and the, what, the leverage that we get out of that data to help customers understand who the right prospects are for them to target and with the highest propensity to buy and the highest propensity to actually contact those, those people and ultimately generate revenue. When I look at how sales has changed in the 38 years I've been selling, you know, when I grew up selling in the 80s on Wall Street, we had these three martini lunches, you know, which I do miss by the way, but uh, today we have all these millennials coming into the workforce and they are very comfortable leveraging technology and data. And they also like gamification. They like to be kind of compared against their peers and they like real time results to drive their, their behavior and to motivate them. And so technology is shifting to not take away the human element because sales ultimately, you're creating a trusted advisor relationship with, with the customer. 
But if you can leverage information at your fingertips so that, that you're smarter about the customer, you, you know their likes and dislikes and you're not making the same mistakes you know, twice, that improves your relationship with the customer. So technology is actually enhancing this connection with the customer. That's the primary change that I see going on in the industry today. So our, our aspiration at Insight Sales is to be the Google or the Amazon of the predictive cloud. That's what we, we aspire to do.